relaxation. So children, now I have two kitties and once both started a fight among themselves. You know why? For what reason they started fighting? Well, it was over an issue of piggy bank. Both had a piggy bank and they started saying that the amount in their piggy bank is more than the other one. See children, both had piggy banks and they started saying the amount in their, in uh, blue one is saying that her piggy bank is having more one and yellow piggy, uh, kitty started saying that her piggy bank is having more amount. Now how to solve this issue children? How to solve the issue? Yes, so we need to open the piggy bank and count the amount in both the piggy banks. So whichever piggy bank is having more amount, they are having more savings, isn't it? So we should be thankful to our mathematicians. But the concept of counting is not new to us children. Counting has started long long ago before the prehistoric time. At that time, people used to count their sheep or cattle using the pebbles. They used to count with pebbles. Then after that, slowly they started using sticks. Then they started using tally marks. And finally, they started using a particular symbol for a particular number. So in this process of creating a num uh, symbols for counting, the Romans, you, know, you must have known children, Roman is a great empire, isn't it? So the people in those Roman empire used a different concept of uh, counting a number. There, they didn't use place values. Instead, they used some symbols. Using these symbols, they framed as many numbers as they could. And using the seven basic Roman symbols, these are seven basic Roman numbers. Using this, they formed many, many numbers. See, I represents one. V represents five. X represents ten. L for 50, C for 100, D for 500 and M for 1000. Using these seven basic numerals, they created as many numbers as they could. Now children, let us see how to create them. See, I have few numbers here. Let us see how to represent them. 2, as I represents 1, 2 is represented by 2 I's. Okay, similarly, for 3, 3 times I. Now, for 20, 20 means 2 times 10. So, for 10, we have X. 1 times 10 means 1X. 2 tens means X should be written 2 times. And similarly, for 30, X is written 3 times. Okay. Now, for 200, 200 means 100 is written 2 times. 100 C is written 2 times. So, 200 means 2 times C and 300 means 3 times C. But here, you have a twist children. That Romans have some terms and conditions to write these Roman numerals. They have set some rules and according to those rules only, you have to write these numerals. Because we have written 3 Three I's for four, we can't write I, 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 I four times. So, children, for four, they have set another rule that when you write any number, a smaller number, to the left side of greater number, we need to subtract it. According to that rule, see, four means it is five minus one. And six means this is 5 plus 1 because when we add to the right side, we add it. When we, when we write anything to the left side, we subtract it. To the greater value, if you write anything to the left side, we subtract. To the greater value, if you write anything to the right side, we add it. So based on these two rules, 4 and 6 are framed. Now let us see for 40 and 60 children. 40 means you have to write it as 50 minus 10. 40 is 50 minus 10. We have written x to the left side, so minus 10. 60 is 50 plus 10. 50 
plus 10 is 60, 50 minus 10 is 40. Now let us see for 400 children. 400 is written as 500 minus 100. Okay, 500 is D minus means to the left side I have written C. So this is 500 minus 100. Then how to write for 600? 500 plus 100 is 600. So this is based on the rule that an uh, alphabet I, X, C and M. These can be repeated up to 3 times. I, X, C and M. That means 1, 10, 100 and 1000 can be repeated up to 3 times. Whereas 5, 50 and 500 can never be repeated. Okay. And these two are based on the rule that when you write a smaller number to the left of greater number, we subtract it. When you write a smaller number to the right of greater number, we add it. Now let us see for this one, children. 7. 7 is 5 plus 2. 7. And 8 is 5 plus 3. 8. For 70, it is uh, 50 plus 20, 70 and for 80 it is 50 plus 30, for 700 it is 500 plus 200 and for 800 it is 500 plus 300. Now let us see for this 9 is 10 minus 1 and 90 is 100 minus 10. And 900 is 1000 minus 100. Okay. Now let us see children how to frame uh, a given Hindu Arabic numeral into Roman numeral. 74 is 70 and 4. Isn't it? 74 means 70 and 4. For 70 we have the Roman numeral as LXX. L X X and this is 4. Fourth class which you have completed previously. If you are perfect with these table children, you can solve any Roman numeral. Now, 523, a three digit number, can be written as 520 and then 3. For 500 children, what is the Roman numeral for 500? D. So this is D. 20, you know. It is x, x and 3 is just 3 i's. Now let us see how to solve a 4 digit number. Now this number is split into 4 parts. 1000's place, 100's place, 10's place and 1's place. So this is 1430 and 2. Now 1000, for 1000 we have a symbol as and. 400, 400 we have seen as C, D. 30, you know 3 times X and 2 is simple as 2 I's. Hope you understood the concept children. Now, let us do the first sum of the exercise 1E. Here, they have given Hindu Arabic numerals and we have to write its corresponding Roman numeral. So, the first one, this is 1. 1 is just I. 2 means Two times I. Three is three times I. Now for four, can I write four times I? No. Then what should I do? This is five minus one. For five, we have a symbol V. For six, it is five plus one, which is I plus V plus I. For seven, it is five. Plus 2, 8 is 5 plus 3, 9 is 10 minus 1. 10, we have a direct symbol x. Now let us see 11. 11 is 10 plus 1, 11. 12 is 10 plus 2 and 10 plus 3 makes 13. For 14, it is 10 plus 4. 10 plus 4 makes 14.
15. 15 pen plus 5. Pen plus 5. And for 16 it is 10 plus 6. 10 and 6 makes 16. 17 is 10 plus 7. So this is 10 plus 7. Now 18 is 10 plus 8. And 19 is 10 plus 9. 10 and 9. 20 are yeah, 2 x's. Yes. Now let us fill this clock with Roman numbers. See children, here first this is 1, then here 2, 3, then 4. How to write 4? 5 minus 1. So this is 5 minus 1, 4. Next we have 5. And 6 as they have given. Next let us move to 7. 7 is 5 plus 2, 7. Next 8 is 5 plus 3, 8. Next we have 9. 9 is 10 minus 1. And then we have 10. And here 11 is 10 plus 1, 11. Now let us see the next one. Write in Hindu Arabic numerals. So see children. This is a Roman number and let us convert it into Hindu Arabic numeral. L means 50. See, here L means 50 and this is 6. So, 50 plus 6, this is 56. Now, let us see the next one. XL is 40 and this is 9. As L is 50 and X is written to the left side of 50, we subtract it. And we got 40. And 10 minus 1 is 9. 40 and 9 makes 49. Now this one you see. This is 50 plus 10. This is making as 60. And this is 3. So this is 63. The next one children. Here this is 100 minus 10. So this is 90. And this is 9. And it makes as 99. The last one children. This is 500 plus 200. Which makes 700. So this is 700. And XL is 40 as we have seen here. In B bit. And this is 2. 740 and 2 makes 742. Now let us add some of the Roman numerals. See, x means this is 10 plus, and what is this? 10 plus 1, 11. So, 10 plus 1 is 11. Now, 10 plus 11 is how much children? Yes, it is 21. Now, how to write 21 in Roman numerals? 20 and 1 makes 21. 20 means 2 times x and then 1 is 21. Now this one children, 20 and 7, 27. So this is 27 plus, what is this? 10 minus 1, 9. So 27 plus 9. Count children, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So this is 36. Now how to write 36 in Roman numerals? 36 means 30 plus 6. 30 means 3 times 10. And 6 means 5 plus 1. 6. Now, this is 33. 33 minus 10 and 4 means this is 14. Okay. Now, let us subtract 33 minus 14. 3 minus 9, you can't. So, borrow. This becomes 13. This becomes 2. 13 minus 4. After 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, you have 9 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So, this is 19. 19, how will you write in Roman numerals? 10 plus 9. So, this is 10 and 9. 19. Now, let us see the last one. 
This is 21 minus here we have 10 plus 8. 10 plus 8, 18. So how much is 21 minus 18? 19, 20, 21. So on just 3 and a simple one. Just 3 eyes will make 3.